Ever since the Nokia 6 was launched at the beginning of this year, I've had so many requests for it. Everyone is curious if the new Nokia smartphones have the same nuke-proof durability that the old 3310s had. And, well, there's only one way to find out. I have tested the durability of every major smartphone that gets released over the last few years. I think I've tested about 60 different phones now, and it's Nokia's turn. Pulling it out of the box, it already has a heavy feel to it, which in my book is a good thing. I purchased the slick looking matte black version. As always, we'll start with the scratch test. I have a set of Mohs picks that allow me to differentiate between different materials. Plastic scratches at a level 3, tempered glass scratches at a 5 or a 6, and sapphire would be at an 8 or a 9. The Nokia 6 has advertised Gorilla Glass 3 on the screen, and it scratches at a level 6, perfectly on par with other flagship devices. On to the fingerprint scanner. Now this is pretty sweet. It's not a button, just a pad, but it's totally scratch-proof. My razor inflicts no damage to the scanner. There are only a few other phones with durable fingerprint scanners like the iPhone 7 and the OnePlus 3. Most phones scratch. The 8 megapixel front-facing camera is also under the front screen glass, so it is scratch-resistant as well. But the earpiece, on the other hand, it seems to be made out of a super fine cloth, almost like the cloth we saw inside the Pixel. This one can come out. Now obviously I pulled this out on purpose, but over time on your own phone, through heating and cooling and normal phone abuse, the little bit of adhesive holding this earpiece in place can become weak. I imagine after a year or two of this rattling around in your pocket, your phone might look the same as mine. It's an unfortunate material choice. I'll just stuff it back in and pretend like nothing happened. Nailed it. Might want to turn up your volume for this next part. It's real metal. Definitely one of my favorite sounds and feels on a smartphone. Now today I'm going to switch things up a little. Art class with Jerry is temporarily canceled. Last month I had about 50,000 views on my channel from the lovely little country of Finland. And in Finland there is a tiny town that's actually called Nokia. It's right about here. Turns out Nokia originated in Finland. Who would have thought? If any of you are planning a vacation to Nokia, my map will help you get there. It's a good map. Probably the best map. The 16 megapixel rear camera protrudes quite a bit out of the back metal housing. Not quite as good looking as the completely flush LG G6, but the Nokia 6 still has a scratch resistant camera lens. My razor blade does nothing to it. It's good to see that most cell phone companies these days have stopped using plastic on their camera lenses. The flash is still plastic, but that's fine, since light will still flow through no matter how scratched it is. The top of the phone is metal. The Nokia 6 does have plastic antenna lines like all metal phones do. These are similar to the wrap around corner design that the iPhone 7 currently has. But this phone has one distinguishingly useful feature that the iPhone 7 does not have, a headphone jack. The volume and power buttons are completely made of metal as well, so no matter where you are holding this phone, you'll be touching metal. I'm not gonna lie, it's a good feeling phone on the outside, but it's what's on the inside that really counts. We'll find out more in a second. The phone does have stereo speakers, that's a bonus, but it is still living in the micro USB world. I'm starting to like this USB-C thing more and more, so Nokia needs to get with the program. The Nokia 6 has a 5.5 inch 1080p IPS display, which means that if I take a lighter to it, we'll get about 10 seconds of life before the pixels go black and turn off. Luckily though, with IPS displays, the pixels do recover, and within a few seconds of the heat being removed, they'll be back to normal. Now I'm still using my Galaxy S7 Edge that I tested about a year ago on my channel. The burn mark on the AMOLED screen doesn't go away. So don't try this at home, kids. I'm a professional. The ultimate test of build quality is the bin test. Out of about 60 phones that I've tested in the past few years, only five have catastrophically failed and snapped in half. This is the first Nokia smartphone that I've ever tested, so I was nervous. But this is literally one of the most solid devices that I have ever felt. There is basically zero flex to the frame pressing from the front or the back. This Nokia 6 is definitely a contender for the most durable phone of 2017. The only thing I would change is the earpiece fabric. Overall, I'm very impressed with Nokia. So far, 2017 has been a pretty fantastic year for phones. I'm looking forward to testing the Galaxy S8 in a few weeks, so make sure you're subscribed for that. And let me know in the comments what phone you want to see me test next. I'll be reading them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around.